We talk about the transfer principles. We talk about an impartation. What you pick up up in here, if it's God's true word, you should be able to get instant results. Now in Hebrews 13, 8, familiar scripture, it says Jesus Christ never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He don't change. He is the same. Somebody say the same. Even with you, he's the same. When he's around you, he is the same. Come on now. In Philippians 4.19, it says, I pray that God will take care of all your needs with the wonderful blessings that come from Jesus Christ. Now, in King James, it says, My God has supplied all of your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. In Numbers 23.19, in the King James, it says, God is not a man that he should lie, neither is he the son of man that he should repent. Had he said, and shall he not do it? Had he spoken and shall he not make it good? But wait a minute now. When I go to the CV version, it, it reads like this. God is no mere human. He doesn't tell lies or change his mind. God always, somebody say always. God always keep his promises. In other words, God's word is a guarantee. Now, we don't use that word too much in church because people are too conscious. But God said, I'm making you a promise. What I said I'm going to do, that's what I'm going to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, in most cases, when we look at it, either God is lying or somebody is lying. Either God is doing something wrong or we are doing something wrong. But God said, I take care of all my kids. I take care of my church. So if you meet somebody who ain't being taken care of, it's either God's fault or they fault. Can I, can I talk to you now? I ain't trying to make you mad. I, I'm just trying to break bread with you. I'm trying to get something over to you. If it's my fault, I want to do something about it. I don't know what to do, Lord. Go to church. Forsake not the assembly. Go to church and learn something. Go to church and let something be, be uh, broken unto you. Given unto you. Shared with you. Wait a minute now. It says, he don't change. He, he, he don't change. In King James, it says, Behold, I have received a, com uh, a commandment to bless. And I had blessed, and I cannot reverse it. Let me impart something to you. It, the impartation is the act of imparting. Something imported. In other words, the apple don't fall that far away from the tree. If you belong to Jesus, you should have the characteristics of him. Now, I know it don't like pop, pop like that. I know it's a cycle. I know it's a process. I know we got to go through something. I know we got to make some choices. And I know we got to change some things. We got to step back and reevaluate. Come on now. There's some things we got to do. But as soon as you do those things that you are supposed to do, You'll get a chance to get in on what he said he would do. Come on, y'all give the Lord some praise. All right, y'all, but y'all stay with me now. Let me get to my story. In Matthew 15, 30 through 39. Large crowds, now y'all listen. Large crowds, somebody said large crowds, came and brought many people who were crippled or blind or lame or unable to talk. They placed them and many others in front of Jesus. I'm, oh God, I can just go home right there. They placed them in front of Jesus. Did y'all hear what I just said? And it was like quiet. I mean, they placed them in front of Jesus. Whatever was going on with them, whoever put them there, seeing that if I can get them in front of Jesus, something's going to change. Something's going to happen. But I'm going to get them in front of Jesus. It says many others in front of Jesus. So in addition to the blind, the lame, and all them other folks with spirits, there were some others in the crowd too. 
and they were placed in front of Jesus. And the Bible says that he healed them all. They were placed in front of Jesus and Jesus healed them all. He didn't bless some of them and some of them didn't get blessed. He blessed all of them. He delivered all of them. He healed all of them. He provided for all of them. He didn't have no pickers and choosers. Oh, now you white, you black. Ah, now he did it for all. Let me you. Wait a minute now. Well, no, 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 the blacks, you you know, and the whites, you No, he did it for all of them. He did it for the rich and the poor. He did it for all. What's that now? After he did it for all of them, it says everyone was amazed at what he had done. They saw and they heard. People who had never spoken could not speak. God gave me something. Now, you may not know how to communicate like you ought to, but you start hanging out with Jesus. Put yourself in front of Jesus. Jesus will tell you how to speak. He'll tell you how to communicate right. A uh, father with your kids, husband with your wife, wife with that husband, mother with your child. I'll show you how to speak. You ain't been talking right in times past. That's why you couldn't get a job. People who had never spoken can now speak. Somebody said, I could talk now. I got something to talk about now. Oh, I could talk with some sense now. We need to start talking with some sense. And healed the cripple. Oh, they got to where they could walk. And the blind were able to see. Everyone was praising God, the God of Israel. Somebody say, the God of Israel. The God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They are always praising, uh, praising him. Then Jesus called his disciples together, and this is what he told them. I feel sorry for these people. Come on now. You want somebody to feel sorry for you? Jesus, he feels sorry for you. But he ain't going to do nothing if you don't get in front of him. Get in his face. Get in his word. Get off in the prayer. Get in his face. Whether somebody puts you in his face or not, get in his face. Wait a minute now. Everyone was praising the God of Israel. Jesus, I love that name, called his disciples, just like he called us. Called his disciples together and told them, I feel sorry for these people. I feel sorry for people because my heavenly father feels sorry for people. But my feeling sorry for them is not the answer. Because if I feel sorry only and don't do something, then I'm just somewhere feeling sorry.